Hello guys and welcome to Motor Beam. This time it's another Honda. Nothing else but the CBR 650F. I'm going to talk about the pros and cons about this motorcycle. But before I do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also press the bell icon. Let's get started. So let's start with the pros. There is a big smile on my face, not because it's just a Honda. This one has that inline 4 bulletproof 650cc engine that Honda has been making since quite some time. This engine is pure symphony to my ears and pulls to the red line without any fuss. Hitting the 200 mark is no stress. This bike does it very pleasantly. So Honda has placed the CBR 650 as a sports tourer. Not a sports motorcycle, not a complete tourer, but a combination of both. The comfort on this motorcycle is par, on par. The seating posture is not too leaned in, not too upright. So you are with the bike and you can take it to your office even on weekend rides. You will be comfortable all the time. The suspension is really soft. It's not that soft that you will lose your confidence while cornering, but you will be comfortable. And the front forks from Showa, they are beautiful. I'm gonna mention something about the build quality here because this Honda is very well put together. Unlike the other 650 inline 4 that's in the market, this motorcycle is devoid of quality issues. The older CBR 650 was already a very attractive motorcycle. But with the update, Honda has made it even better. The red and black color scheme looks absolutely stunning. This CBR is a definite head turner. With a very heavy heart, I have to break it to you that this Honda has quite some things that are not going right. Starting with the first con, the instrument cluster. It's the same that was there in its predecessor. This instrument cluster displays all the necessary information, but it just does not fit in this premium package. While it is a split cluster, it does not get a split headlight, and that is what CBR is known for. The ride and handling balance of this motorcycle is perfect, but the tires don't do justice to this motorcycle. Once you gun the throttle too much, they get slipping, and if you brake too hard, you don't get that confidence too. When Honda decided to locally assemble the CBR 650F in India, we were expecting a magical price. But this motorcycle is priced at Rs 8.4 lakhs on road Mumbai, which makes it a very expensive motorcycle, especially when you consider the competition from Japan, which offers you more thrills. Coming to the fourth con, but I'm not going to talk about it because I love this motorcycle. It's a Honda and... Yeah, nah. Review you want to review it. Honda. Hai. Or? I'm going to do the review. Yeah. 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 You and I love to laugh. 